Hey everybody, Robert right here, private label law attorney, and I want to tell you something. Boring is the new sexy. That's right, I said it. Boring is the new sexy. What do I mean by this, right? So often in private label, what we do is we go, we look to Jungle Scout, we look to Cash Cap Pro, whatever software we're using, and we look to find that product that is moving volume. I mean, it is hundreds of units per day, right? Lots of profitability, moving big volume, and that's what we run towards, right? Well, guess what? That's what everybody else in the marketplace runs towards too. So those are sexy products. Those are big money products. Those are, you know, I'm gonna change my life products. But what? What if you didn't go after those products? What if you went to the products that were a little bit lower down the totem pole? What if you went with products that moved a couple a day, had nice profitability, and then you started stacking, you created a stable of those boring products that no one notices that all kind of make the same amount of money as if you were selling one that everybody's trying to go after, right? If, if those are boring products, right? They don't move a lot. Maybe they don't have a lot of moving parts. They don't do a lot of really anything, but they just kind of fulfill a use. Boring is the new sexy because boring is profitable. Boring helps you avoid hijackers. Now, I've talked in other videos, like if you take a primary product, you bundle it with a product, that automatically is going to make your listing a little bit more difficult to hijack. Well, guess what? If you take a really boring product and you bundle it with a really boring product, well, then guess what? Number one, nobody's going to be looking for it because it's a boring product. And number two, you bundled it. So even if someone does look for it, it's going to be really difficult to hijack. You throw a trademark registration in there and your business is largely running on autopilot in terms of policing your brand on Amazon. So to this I say, boring is the new sexy. You know, think outside the box. Don't be a sheep. Don't run towards the product that everybody else is running towards. Run away from it. When people zig, you zag. Do that, these small practical things that you can do early on in your product research and your product sourcing phase, they make a big difference to your bottom line later on. They're just gonna be less administrative hassle. And as I've said in other videos, where possible, keep it simple, stupid. If you don't have to spend a lot of time, money, and effort policing your brand and using that club to bat people away off of your listings and stealing your profits, you're gonna be better off in the long run.